Hello, my name is Kevin Flowers and I'll be showing you how to use the Dr. Octorex to get a quality drum track without actually having to play the drums. But first, let's find out what the Dr. Octorex is and what it does. The Dr. Octorex is a device that plays music loops in its native Rex file format. Reason already comes with a variety of Rex files to choose from. But if you have a piece of music you would like to turn into a Rex file, you have to use Propellerhead software Recycle. The really cool thing about the Dr. Octo Rex is the ability to change the tempo of a loop and still maintain the pitch and sound quality. It's also a great tool when looking for a solid drum track. Now let's go ahead and get started by adding some Dr. Rex's to the rack. When you begin a project in Reason, you will likely see an empty rack with nothing but a mixer. If you would like to, you can set up a template that you want to start your projects with. You can find that in the Preferences menu. Let's go up to the menu and select the Dr. Octorex Loop Player. Whenever you insert a device, it will create a track on the mixer. Here, the Dr. Octorex 1 has been connected to Mixer Track 1, and it has a corresponding track on the sequencer. Now let's add in two more Dr. Rexes. Now let's go through some loops in the sound library. By clicking the folder icon, the browsing window opens up. When you click on a Rex file, you will see its information at the bottom of the browser. This can include original tempo, time signature, length of file in measures and seconds, file format and size. This piano loop sounds good, so let's click OK. Let's audition some guitar loops. This loop sounds good. Now let's hear how the loops sound together. Now let's find a bass loop. That sounds good, so let's click OK. Now let's hear that with the piano and the guitar loop. Sounds good, but one problem. It's in the wrong key. So let's go to the slice edit view and transpose it. In the slice edit mode, the Dr. Octorex gives you a keyboard to change the pitch of a loop. Let's take this down a half a step and hear how it sounds. As you can hear, things sound much better when everything is in the same key. Now that we've found a good melody and bass line, let's find a drum track to set a groove. Reason has a variety of drum loops. If you open up the Dr. Octorex patches folder, you will find Rex files that load with eight loops for eight slots on the device. These are the loops for this particular patch. Let's audition out a sequence using loops 2, 3, and 4. Now let's record this sequence. Make sure the Dr. Octorex has a lane 
to record information into the sequencer. Another feature of Reason is the ability to change the parameters of a device over time and record it. These parameters include filter frequency, pitch, and volume. To give some variation, I will automate some parameters and then point out what I've changed. First, let's try out some filters on the drum loop. Just select the track you are working on and hit record. Click the filter frequency fader and begin to drag it down to notice the change in sound. Also clicking the mode button will alter the sound as well. Another feature in the Dr. Octorex is the slice edit mode, which gives you more tools to edit individual slices in a Rex file. Some of the parameters include pitch, pan, level, delay, reverse, filter frequency, alternate groups, and slice output. Let's try out the reverse effect on the guitar loop. Turning the slice knob allows you to choose the slice you want to affect. For example, if I wanted to reverse slice 2 and 4 on this loop, it will make that specific portion of the sample play backwards, and it would sound like this. And that is all for this lesson on the Dr. Octorex. There are many more features not only in this device, but the software as a whole. Propellerhead Reason is truly a virtual studio and perfect for musicians to achieve a professional sound. For more information on the software, visit propellerhead.se.